Fewer cars on the roads and fewer planes in the skies during the pandemic helped reduce carbon emissions. However, Stanford's annual emissions study shows we are quickly returning to pre-pandemic levels. Focusing on the climate is part of our efforts to build a better Bay Area. ABC 7 News reporter David Louie talked to the leading climate scientists on the study to learn why we're seeing such a fast rebound. We're back on the move, commuting and traveling. As the economy rebounds, so is the level of carbon emissions. Stanford researchers say it's up nearly 5% from last year and close to pre-pandemic levels. When you park a car in a driveway or, a, or mothball a plane or a steel plant, as soon as that infrastructure comes back into service, it's the same polluting infrastructure that was there before. Professor Jackson chairs the carbon study now in its 16th year. Economic growth doesn't have to mean more carbon emissions. Before the pandemic, he points out the U.S., Japan, and Mexico were reducing emissions. And there are lots of countries, too, where emissions have decreased um, over the last decade, but economies grew. So I don't think there's a tight coupling between economic growth and um, and emissions. However, China could be a major exception. Due to tight power supplies, coal mining and coal burning have increased to ramp up manufacturing. Nationally and in California, EV sales are breaking records. However, electric vehicles represent only about 10 or 11 percent of the market, and it will take years before today's gas-powered vehicles go out of service. When we clean up the power sector, when we clean up the transportation sector, we don't just solve the climate problem, we save lives and make our air cleaner and healthier to breathe. Even with ambitious pledges being made at GOP26 in Scotland, progress can be difficult in Washington. The clean energy bill is mired in Congress and we, we, we haven't done much for, um, for clean energy in this recovery plan. David Louie, ABC 7 News.